Grace, mercy, and peace may be multiplied unto you. This is Apostle Elliot to some, Dr. Elliot to others. And I wanted to take a moment of time to give a word of revelation regarding what is an epistle. According to the scripture, according to the Bible, what is an epistle? Well, for some that may ask that question, according to our Western world culture, when we look at it in a dictionary, it means a letter, which is really the essence of it. But if I may, I want to take a little bit of time to even dissect uh, the terminology of an epistle that's written in scriptures. Now, uh, in that uh, one scripture that I want to bring to your attention regarding uh the implication of it being a letter is, for instance, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 27, the scripture says, I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. So then we draw the conclusion that an epistle is something that's uh, uh, written or something really that's being read or discerned and understood. And um, the reason I say that is because not only by scripture do we find uh, an epistle alluding to a written document, we can also find in the scripture that an epistle is uh, alluding to a living document, i.e. a person. The reason I say that is because when you read 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 2, and uh, verse 3, it says, you are epistles written in our hearts or in our thoughts um, uh, and read of all men. For as much as you are manifestly declared to be the epistles of Christ, ministered or taught by us, written not with ink, but with the spirit of of the living God. So by the scriptures, we can conclude that depending on the structure of the text, when epistle is mentioned, it is either referring to a document that is read or extrapolated, uh, has information that is extrapolated by the individual that's reading, or it is information or demonstration that a person or persons are doing that still becomes information that is communicated to someone else to follow as instructions. Now, note that I say instructions because when we get into the word, the Greek word for epistle is epistole, epistoloi, E-P-I-S-T-O-L-E. Epistole, and the word epistole in the Greek means a letter or a written message. But here's the thing: epistole comes from epistello, epistello, e p i s t e l l o, and it means to write or communicate instructions. So that tells us that epistole or an epistle, if we're looking at it as a written document, is something of a document that is a written message in order to communicate instructions. Now, when this gets a little bit deeper in the context of this word epistole, which means epistle, it comes from epi and stello. All right, <laughs> excuse me. And so the word epi means to put upon or put over. Stello means uh, setting in order or arranging or preparing or equipping. So epi stello, two words put together, is to put upon someone or something. Uh, instructions in order to prepare them or arrange them or to equip them. Now, we can go a little bit deeper because the word stello, which I just commented, means to prepare or to arrange or to set in order, comes from histamine. 
And histomy means to make stand or to establish or build. So in the entire context of what an epistle is, it is information that is communicated as instructions in order to place it upon the reader or the interpreter in order to prepare them and establish them or put them in a foundational place of understanding so they can be built upon. So this is the meaning of the term epistle as we look at it and understand it in the Bible. So once again, then that means the letters that were written, which are the books of the Bible in the New Testament, are meant to communicate instructions to the reader in order to get them foundational and get them prepared. The, the epistles that we understand not only prepares the individual, but it makes the individual also become a living epistle because what they have read and what they have learned and what they have, have standardized in their life, it now becomes the living example that they demonstrate before others. So now the epistles of the writings of the letters of the New Testament aren't just writings in the book. They become animated writings by the people that read them and apply them as instructions for their life. So with that being said, I pray this is a profound and revelatory teaching of understanding as to the term epistle as we find it in the Bible, uh, in the New Testament uh, for those who are readers. And I pray that with this understanding, you're able to continue on your course and your divine destiny in the Lord through Christ Jesus and Christ Jesus alone. And with that being said, amen, 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 and may blessings be unto you.